Hello, in this video we're going to do some supply and demand problems where we solve for either the surplus or shortage in the market. So here is our market characterized by the following market demand and market supply curves. And here's our first question. If the market price is currently $20, what is the size of the surplus or shortage in the market? So we're going to take this $20 and we're going to plug that into both the market demand and market supply. So taking our market demand, where we have P, I'm plugging in 20, and then we're just going to do the math here. We're going to get 410 minus 10 times 20, or 410 minus 200. So we have a quantity demanded of 210 units. At $20, consumers are willing and able to buy 210 units. Let's see what happens on the supply side. Taking that same $20 and plugging it into the market supply, we see that sellers are willing to bring 30 units to the market. 2 times 20 minus 10 is 40 minus 10, or 30 units. In this example, then, the amount that consumers want to buy exceeds the amount that sellers want to produce and offer for sale. This is the classic example of a shortage or excess demand. Quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied. 210 is greater than 30. We can calculate the size of the shortage. Consumers are only going to be able to buy 30 units. Uh, they would like to buy 180 more, so that is going to be the shortage. 210 minus 30 means that there's consumers out there that would like to buy 180 more units um, than is currently being made available by sellers. All right, let's move on. Same market demand, same market supply. Let's try now a market price of $30 and see what happens. So again, the same idea. We're going to plug this $30 back into the demand and supply equation. Plugging that into the demand equation, consumers would like to buy 110 units. Sellers with the higher price would like to bring a few more units to the market. Here they'd like to bring 50 units to the market. Nevertheless, we still have a shortage or excess demand. Quantity demanded at $30 exceeds quantity supplied. The size of that shortage is 60 units. Okay, moving on to another example. Same market demand, same market supply, but this time let's try a price of $40. Plugging $40 into the demand equation, consumers here only want to buy 10 units. Prices go up, consumers want to buy less, the law of demand. Plugging that $40 into the market supply, market supply curve slope upwards. So here we see sellers would like to bring 70 units to the market. So here we have a surplus. The quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded. Sellers are going to try to sell a lot more units than buyers are interested in buying at this uh, high, high price of $40. And so we have a surplus, 70 minus 10. Sellers are only going to be able to sell 10 units out of the 70 that they're bringing to the market. So there's 60 units here. Uh, sitting around that no consumers are interested in buying. And our last example. This time let's try a market price of $35. At $35, consumers want to buy 60 units. Sellers want to sell 60 units. So here we have quantity demanded equaling quantity supplied, and that's how we define a market equilibrium. 60 equals 60. So this is the equilibrium. We have neither a shortage nor a surplus in this case. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.